Moses is working alone. Because on the one hand, there's Pharaoh. On the other hand, there's Moses and his, and his, uh, his brother. Uh, and the people of Israel basically side with Pharaoh. No, uh, the creator as if tells Moses, come to Pharaoh. Yes, he's with the creator, obviously. But, but Israel, they don't want to leave Egypt. Uh, every time Moses does something, they tell him, why did you do that? Now it's only worse. It's, you know, you shouldn't have that. Don't touch anything. Don't move anything. Every time you do something, it gets worse. Right. Right? So everyone's on that side, on Pharaoh's side, except Moses, Aaron, his brother, and, and the creator. Um, right. The Jewish people, meaning the rest of a person's desires, they, they'd like to do it, but they can't. They can't struggle. They as if are in a very passive state. Like you see Jews today in the world, each, you know, gets along wherever it's comfortable. It's like till, uh, it's like we had Purim recently, and we read in the Esther scroll that the Jews were dispersed over the 127 countries, and the city of Shushan was perplexed, and no one knew who was, who was right, Mordechai or Amman. Same here, the Jews are as if standing aside, and they, they don't know. They, they also tell Moses, from the moment right. he started mm -hmm. coming to Pharaoh, he became much harsher toward us. 